Welcome back traders. Um, this is Fausto from Cybertrain University and today I want to talk a little bit about and educate you how to set up your NASDAQ book viewer. Um, I find that a lot of people are emailing me asking me say hey Fausto I see you are very big with level three and uh, it works out great shadowing these these big orders and everything and you know but the problem is I just don't know how to get it set up properly. Well I want to just do a quick little demonstration of how to set up your screen because there's a lot of data on these things that you don't really need. Actually, I would say 80, 90% of the data that you're using in today's markets uh, with these brokerage firms offer, you don't even need it. It's window dressing. And it's like, you know, it's nice, it looks pretty. And I think that's what discourages people from, you know, doing certain trades because they look at these numbers and they're changing pretty quickly. So I want to kind of just show you what we got going on over here. And you'll notice that. When you, when you launch your book viewer, it's basically a browser that's going to open up. And you're going to get a lot of these windows right here. And you got time, you got MM, MPID, which means market participant ID, market value, total, shares, bit. And you'll notice that these get, there's big, big colors here. And what that means is how many of these orders make up that one price. So I'll just pause it right here. So I can pause the screen and you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six people looking to buy the stock at eight, eight dollars and 44 cents. And this, is how many shares are looking to buy. And that really what adds up the amount of shares they want to buy, which makes up the, the value of those shares. Who's on that order? Who's that market participant? It's obviously NASDAQ. And at what time you post that order? So you can see that's a lot of window dressing. So what I do, ladies and gentlemen, is um, I, there's a custom column up here on top. Okay, you're going to click this custom column, and you see how all these windows are checked. Okay, so basically all you're going to need is orders, shares, and then the bid. Shares, orders, and that's it. So I'm going to limit a, a limit almost all these columns down to three. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click on the column again and that will disappear that screen. Now you'll notice that um, there's a column missing here but now what you'll notice is that you're seeing just basically the shares and the price. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. This is very important. See what says aggregate by price? We're going to click that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the true data what you want to see. Now what you're seeing is how many orders make up those shares, which are aggregated, and at what price. So now what you're doing is you're, you're, it's, when you click on this, you can only see down to 840. Let me just click pause here. 841. Oops. Pause. To 8. Dollars and 33 cents. Look how many people, how many levels you got to go down. But when you aggregate those orders, now you could drop and see all the way down to 804, where before you only saw all the way down to here. Now you're seeing all the way down here. The reason for that is now you're starting to see more what's called the depth to book. So now you see more depth, you get to see more orders, you get to see more block orders. So now you're getting to see exactly where, because what the whole goal of looking at this platform is to see where the more predominant buyers and the more predominant sellers are at. Like for example, over here on the sell side, you can look on the right. We don't really look for like thousand share sellers, hundred, but we're looking for 12,000, 11,000 big block orders because that's what makes a resistance level on the sell side. And on the buy side, it's big block orders on the bid. So with this said, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that hard to set it up. But now the next question is, if you watch my future videos that are coming up, I'm going to actually apply this to actual the chart. So the thing is, everybody has to have a game plan. If you don't have a game plan, how do you know where to get in and get out of position? So if you want to learn how to use this to have a game plan to today to trade today's volatile markets, click on the like down at the bottom, like this video, and just click on subscribe. And you'll be getting more alerts of videos just like this to teach you how to use the book viewer and other future platforms like the matrix or maybe book viewer. There's a couple other platforms out there that are a little bit more advanced, but let's do the beginner stuff and then we'll move on forward. So if you like it, 
Click like, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll be happy to follow up with you on better, uh, vi on more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and happy trading.